Hello everyone, in today's video, we will see top 50 most asked data analyst question and answer in interview. If you are ready, let's start today's topic. First question is, what is data analyst? Data analytics is the process of examining, cleaning, transforming, and modeling data to extract useful information, draw conclusions, and support decision making. Second question is, what are the types of data analysis? We have mainly descriptive, diagnostic, predictive, and prescriptive data analysis. Third question is, explain difference between qualitative and quantitative data. Qualitative data is non-numerical, such as text or images, while quantitative data is numerical, such as measurements or counts. Next question is, what is data cleaning? Data cleaning is the process of identifying and correcting errors, inconsistencies, and inaccuracies in datasets. Next question is, what is an outlier? An outlier is a data point that significantly differs from the rest of the data points in a dataset. Next question is, explain the difference between SQL and NoSQL databases? SQL databases are relational, use structured query language, and have a predefined schema, while NoSQL databases are non-relational, use various query languages, and have a dynamic schema. Next question is, what is ETL? ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. It's a process for retrieving data from various sources, transforming it into a usable format, and loading it into a database or data warehouse. Next question is, what is a primary key in database? A primary key is a unique identifier for each record in a table. Next question is, what is a foreign key in a database? A foreign key is a field in a table that refers to the primary key of another table, establishing a relationship between the two tables. Next question is, explain difference between inner join and outer join in SQL. Inner join returns records with matching values in both tables, while outer join returns records from one table and the matching records from the other table, filling in null values for non-matching records. Next question is, what is a histogram? A histogram is a graphical representation of the distribution of a dataset, showing the frequency of data points in specified intervals. Next question is what is box plot? A box plot is a graphical representation of the distribution of a dataset, showing the median, quartiles, and possible outliers. Next question is, what is linear regression? Linear regression is a statistical method used to model the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. Next question is, explain difference between R-squared and adjusted R-squared. R-squared measures the proportion of variation in the dependent variable explained by the independent variables, while adjusted R-squared adjusts for the number of independent variables in the model. Next question is, what is a confusion matrix? A confusion matrix is a table used to evaluate the performance of a classification model, showing the true positives, true negatives, false positives, and false negatives. Next question is, what is k-means clustering? K-means clustering is an unsupervised machine learning algorithm used to partition data into k-clusters based on their similarity. Next question is, what is cross-validation? Cross-validation is a technique used to evaluate the performance of a model by splitting the dataset into training and testing sets multiple times and calculating the average performance. Next question is, what is overfitting? Overfitting occurs when a model is too complex and performs well. Next question is, what is decision tree? A decision tree is a flowchart-like structure used in decision-making and machine learning, where each internal node represents a feature, each branch represents a decision rule, and each leaf node represents an outcome. Next question is, what is difference between supervised learning and unsupervised learning? Supervised learning uses labeled data and a known output, while Unsupervised learning uses unlabeled data and discovers patterns or structures in the data. Next question is, explain principal component analysis PCA. PCA is a dimensionality reduction technique that transforms data into a new coordinate system, reducing the number of dimensions while retaining as much information as possible. Next question is, what is time series analysis? Time series analysis is a statistical technique for analyzing and forecasting data points collected over time, such as stock prices or weather data. Next question is, what is difference between a bar chart and a pie chart? A bar chart represents data using rectangular bars, showing the relationship between categories and values, while a pie chart represents data as slices of a circle, 
showing the relative proportion of each category. Next question is, what is pivot table? A pivot table is a data summarization tool that allows users to reorganize, filter, and aggregate data in a spreadsheet or database. Next question is, what is data normalization? Data normalization is the process of scaling and transforming data to eliminate redundancy and improve consistency, making it easier to compare and analyze. Next question is, explain the concept of a data warehousing. A data warehouse is a large, centralized repository of data used for reporting and analysis, combining data from different sources and organizing it for efficient querying and reporting. Next question is, what is the role of a data analyst in the company? A data analyst collects, processes, and analyzes data to help organizations make informed decisions, identify trends, and improve efficiency. Next question is, how do you handle missing data in a datasets? Missing data can be handled by imputing values, mean, median, mode, deleting rows with missing data, or using models that can handle missing data. Next question is, how do you deal with outliers in a dataset? Outliers can be dealt with by deleting, transforming, or replacing them, or by using models that are less sensitive to outliers. Next question is, describe a situation where you use data analysis to solve a problem. Answer this based on your personal experience, detailing the problem, your approach, and the outcome. Next question is, how do you ensure data quality and accuracy in your analysis? Best answer for this question is, ensuring data quality and accuracy involves data cleansing, validation, normalization, and cross-referencing with other sources, as well as using appropriate analytical methods and tools. Next question is, how do you handle large data sets? Best answer for this question is, handling large datasets involves using efficient data storage and processing techniques, such as SQL databases, parallel computing, or cloud-based solutions, and optimizing code and algorithms for performance. Next question is, what is your experience with data visualization tools, such as Tableau, Power BI, or Excel? Answer this based on your personal experience and familiarity with the mentioned tools, providing examples of projects or tasks you have completed using them. Next question is, how do you stay updated on the latest trends and developments in data analysis? For this question you can mention resources such as blogs, podcasts, online courses, conferences, and industry publications that you use to stay informed and up-to-date. Next question is, describe your experience with programming languages such as R or Python, used in data analysis. You should answer this based on your personal experience, highlighting your proficiency. Next question is, how do you handle data privacy and security concerns in your analysis? Best answer for this question is, by following data protection regulations, anonymizing sensitive data, using secure data storage and transfer methods, and implementing access controls and encryption when necessary. Next question is, how do you prioritize tasks when working on multiple data analysis projects? Best answer for this question is, by setting clear goals, assessing deadlines and project importance, allocating resources efficiently, and using project management tools or techniques to stay organized. Next question is, how do you handle disagreements and conflicts within team? Best answer for this question, by openly discussing the issue, actively listening to different perspectives, finding common ground, and working collaboratively to reach a resolution. Next question is, describe a situation where you had to present complex data analysis results to a non-technical audience. You should answer this based on your personal experience, detailing how you simplified the information, used visual aids, and adapted your communication style for the audience. Next question is, how to ensure your data analysis is unbiased? Best answer for this question. By being aware of potential biases, using diverse data sources, applying objective analytical methods, and cross-validating results with other sources or techniques. Next question is, what metrics do you use to evaluate the success of a data analysis projects? Best answer for this question is, metrics may include accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score, R squared, or other relevant performance measures, depending on the projects. Goals and objectives. Next question is, how to determine the most appropriate data analysis technique for a given projects? Best answer for this question is, by understanding the problem's context, the nature of the data, the desired outcome, and the assumptions and limitations of various techniques, selecting the most suitable method through experimentation and validation. 
Next question is, how do you validate results of your data analysis? Best answer for this question is, by using cross-validation, holdout samples, comparing results with known benchmarks, and checking for consistency and reasonableness. In the findings, next question is, what is experience working with APIs to collect the data? You can answer this based on your personal experience, highlighting any projects or tasks where you have used APIs to gather data and the tools or languages you used. Next question is, how do you stay motivated when working on a challenging data analysis projects? For this question you can mention personal strategies, such as setting goals, focusing on incremental progress, seeking support from colleagues or mentors, and staying curious and engaged with the subject matter. Next question is, can you explain the concept of data normalization and provide an example? Best answer for this question is, Data normalization is the process of organizing and scaling data to improve consistency and comparability. An example might involve scaling the values of a feature to a range of 0 to 1, making it easier to compare with other features. Next question is, how would you deal with a situation where your analysis contradicts the expectations of your manager or stakeholders? Best answer for this question could be, by clearly communicating the methodology, assumptions, and limitations of the analysis, providing evidence to support the findings, and discussing possible reasons for the discrepancy, while remaining open to feedback and further investigation. Next question is, what is your approach to problem solving when faced with a complex data analysis challenge? For this question you can describe your process, which may include breaking down the problem, identifying relevant data and methods, iterating through potential solutions, and seeking input from colleagues or experts when needed. Next question is, how do you handle tight deadlines or high-pressure situations is a data analysis projects? Best answer for this question could be, by prioritizing tasks, managing time effectively, maintaining clear communication with team members and stakeholders, staying focused and organized, and seeking support when necessary.